and welcome to episode 4 of the Frame Drumming video podcast. I'm sitting under a palm tree here in Tunisia. Um, we're going to play here tonight on a festival. We had the sound check yesterday, everything is cool. Lots of good musicians and lots of Taraguka playing. And I have uh, some time before the concert, so I'm going to show you how to extend the roll that we did last time at the left hand and uh, make it a longer roll. So, just um, to remember, last episode we had this thing, this uh, five stroke roll, three fingers of the left hand, ring finger, middle finger and index finger, then the left middle finger and then an accent on the right hand. Uh, three fingers of the right hand, then the left middle finger and then the accent on the right hand. It sounds like this. You will probably remember this from, from last time. So, if you add the, the left hand to this, and um, you can extend the roll starting directly after a right hand accent. So, after the accent, for example, a doom, you start with the three fingers of the left hand, ring finger, middle finger, index finger, then the right hand, ring finger, middle finger, index finger, then the left middle finger, and then again an accent on the right hand. It sounds like this. And this is one of the roles that the Glenn Velez developed. He uses it more on uh, on rig and on uh, upright playing, but you can use it as well on the on the left side playing. You can use it actually in a, in a lot of different positions. So um, again, a little bit faster. Let's put it into a rhythm, uh, for example the Chifte Telly, and we'll start the roll after the second doom, so in the beginning of the second half of the rhythm. And this roll basically fills up like one eighth note or one quarter note, depending on which speed you play in. playing speed all right that's it for today um, I got some feedback on the podcast and so some of you guys uh, can work with this and uh, that's great so if, you, if there's something um, that you that you would have liked to be covered or some technique you were always wondering about, then just write me an email and maybe I can do it in one of the next episodes. Alright, uh, have fun and see you next time.